New research shows most moms who got an mRNA vaccine, that's Moderna or Pfizer, developed antibodies in their breast milk. That's one of three coronavirus headlines we are following tonight. According to researchers, getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine did not provide levels nearly as high. Researchers say it only took about a month after the second dose for the antibodies to show up. Antibodies in breast milk often offer immune protection that can be passed on to the baby. Costco getting ready to drop its senior hours meant for members over the age of 60, first responders and also health care workers. The special operating schedule began just over two years ago due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Costco officials say the schedule returns to normal on April 18th. Many national grocery stores had similar special hours for those considered especially vulnerable to the virus. Nearly 13 million children in the U.S. have tested positive for COVID-19 since the start of the pandemic. That's according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. Right now, researchers are investigating why some children are experiencing long COVID symptoms, some getting reinfected, and why some are recovering just fine. The CDC maintains that everyone over the age of five should get the coronavirus vaccine. According to the latest COVID update, new cases are down by more than 1,000 per day. Georgia is making a lot of progress in the last two months. Back in early January, we saw new record-breaking case numbers due to the Omicron variant. Now, case averages are down more than 95%. Overnight, the Department of Public Health only added about 230 new cases. Low case number days like these are helping our case average improve every day.